I've had some trouble filming straight down on the table, so I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this tripod. It's not the only company that makes something like this, but this is by US AMS, the United States of AMS. What's really interesting about this stand is that it's not a tripod. In many ways, I think it's better than a tripod. It will hold your phone or even small camera in a lot of positions that tripods just suck at. And there are a lot of times when I'm trying to film something looking straight down, whether I'm trying to show you something, I've got some books here that I even want to show you or when I'm cooking and I just can't get the right angle. And so this has the ability to do that, but also some other cool little features. So what we get here is a USB to USB-C cable. Looks like that is about four feet long right there. And then we get the stand. I might incorrectly call this a tripod, but it's actually very heavy. So that's kind of one of the unique things about that. A tripod works just because of its shape. It's stable with three legs. But if you don't have those three legs to make it stable, you need some heavy weight. And this has some decent weight. I mean, it's not like a brick, but if I had a water bottle filled with water about the same size, that's kind of how heavy this is. So pretty heavy here. So what you can see is white plastic, but we have some silicone strips right here, which should give it a nice grippy footing on any surface. And then what we have up here is actually a little frosted panel and there's a light behind there. And I also want to show you the USB-C port right on this end here. And then a little instruction here, push forward, do not force. So I'm going to take that off and then push forward to open it up. So when it says push forward, it's going to kind of open up like this, but you don't want to pivot it up. You just want to push it like this so it'll slide out all the way. And then you can see the USB port where you can charge it, but then you can also see the arm. So now it will open up without any problem. And again, the light on this side, but you also have a light on this side. And we also have the little grippy arms right here for holding your phone. This is under spring tension. So you'll be able to put your phone in like that or rotate it like that, right? So you can get portrait, landscape, and then what I can do is pull this out here and this will twist around. But what I want to show you is on the neck there, it has little teeth. So it's not going to just flop around. It's locked in there pretty good. So I can definitely dial in different angles here. But once it falls back into place, it should stay in that position, right? And then you can see here how this arm extends out. Grab this and just pull on it. You can see, holy smokes, how long this is again. This looks like this is 36, 38 inches long. So we definitely have a long arm there. And then we also have a hinge after that first section. So if I angle this up, I can put my phone in here and then film straight down. So I can put my phone in like this, have that camera filming straight down. I even have a light up here shining down on it. And then I have this big heavy weight here on the bottom. So hopefully I won't get that in the frame. Tighten this collar down and that's gonna hold that in position there. So it won't move out and then you can unscrew it there so that you can pivot this around again. And then right here we have, looks like a removable remote. So assuming this is Bluetooth, little USB-C port right there, you can charge this up Two lights here and that corresponds with the lights that are up here. So if I just hold this button down, I wanna show you that will power on the light and now I can cycle through the different modes. So brighter, yellower, warmer white, right? So lots of different modes there and I can power it off. Just by holding it down now like i said there's a light on this side so i'm assuming if i hold down this button the light will go on there too and again lots of different modes from a very warm yellow light to the bright white lights and then i will also say if the remote isn't charged or isn't working doesn't really matter you do have the buttons on this side and there are little arrows on them that show which light they work with so this little arrow is pointing up so if i'll hit that hold it down turns it off again Holding it down, we'll turn it back on and then scroll through the different modes. And so what I really love about this is that hopefully I can use this to film directly on top of the table when I need to. And I can also have some illumination, especially in places where I don't normally have that. If you want to use this like a selfie stand, you can certainly do that too. If you're a vlogger or something like that, I think this would be a really great companion to have with you on the road. So I could just talk into it like this and be like, look at me, I have the studio set up in my hotel room. A studio for vlogging, not for home movies. And then you could turn on that selfie light right there. Ooh, love it. So pretty cool. 
I really dig this thing. I think it is going to make my life a lot easier when I'm doing some other videos where I'm trying to show you some stuff where I can't get in a regular tripod. So if this device that's a step beyond tripods is going to make your filming life a little easier, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.